Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of US markets for the 1st of May, Monday, 2016. Be sure to visit www.tradesignaler.com and download the latest app and gain access to my market analysis along with others. Uh, you can download from the Google Play and the App Store. Okay, so uh, US markets. Now, the the game in town at present is the USDJPY, given the uh, relationship uh, with the US markets and the yen. And obviously the Japanese markets, the, the bias will be uh, gained from there. And the Q will be taken from there as well. So given the fact that the Nikkei is down 500 odd points, uh, it's down almost 3% overnight, that obviously indicates a risk aversion trade. Now let's see exactly where this market's positioned. Given the fact that obviously we had weaker data on Friday, uh, certainly um, came in weaker than expected. Uh, so that obviously hasn't helped the uh, the actual uh, market or the, or the uh, US markets from that perspective. And obviously did trigger off a risk aversion trade going into Friday. Now the pivot low on the Nasdaq on Friday was around the 4300 zone. Obviously we had the uh, US uh, uh, University of Michigan Consumer Confidence certainly weaker than expected. We had uh, potential retail sales coming in weaker. We had Chicago PMI coming in weaker as well. Personal consumption, although that certainly came in on the, um, well, more or less uh, in line, uh, although the spending uh, itself certainly did suffer to a large extent. So again, it's a mixed message, mixed message, especially with the weaker or tepid GDP growth as well last week. It certainly doesn't bode well for the US markets, but we shall see how the market reacts because it's more about QE as opposed to solid economic data, okay? Now, let's see exactly where this market is positioned. I'm going to start off with the uh, the Dow. Okay, Dow Jones, let's just see exactly where we are. The weekly chart, the Dow, you can clearly see that we're holding resistance. We've had a bearish engulfing gander on the weekly chart. The daily chart at the moment, potential bottoming tail there that was putting going into the close. So again, certainly something to keep an eye out for. The 60 minute chart on the, um, the Dow Jones itself, we certainly did thrust higher towards the uh, close, uh, more of a weak thrust, if anything, and uh, a potential test of previous support equals resistance. So nothing of any major importance. I will also bear in fact that you do have uh, the gap fill resistance as well for the, for the Dow itself. Now the Dow at the moment is currently trading around the 17800, so currently up in this level here. Again, that zone there will, be, will act as resistance, so bear that in mind. That zone will act as potential resistance. And you can clearly see that we do have a potential here for a HNS formation. So left shoulder, head obviously went in, and obviously right shoulder here, then looking to go low. So a HNS formation giving a potential sell, a downdraft going into this zone down here to 17,500. So again, need to uh, remain open to that possibility as well. The Dow transportation, that's again something that we always cross verify and confirm. Uh, the daily chart itself has held this uh, double top resistance here. Okay, so again, if you are looking at potential support, it's going to be down below. You do have gap fill and 200 MA potential support as well. 60 minute chart at the moment certainly seems to be uh, overdone for now. Uh, the bias or the focus will obviously remain on this HNS formation, which I've already highlighted on the, uh, the Dow, Dow Jones. Okay, and, and Dow Transportation has the same. So you're looking at a potential downside target of 8150 down, bring it down to the neckline at 7950 uh, odds. So. Uh, you're looking at 7750 on the downside so it's still certainly some uh, movement down to go especially given the fact that you do have an unfilled gap below that certainly needs to be closed so again certainly remain open to that possibility and uh, another multiple gap multiple gaps below so again hns formation and then the dow and therefore looking to potentially sell into any rallies okay that's my interpretation thus far okay now in terms of the um, s p 500 now let's just cross verify that with the russell first of all okay so if I go to the weekly chart, the Russell certainly looks exhausted here at the FIB 75%. The daily chart of the uh, Russell itself, again, has held at uh, horizontal resistance, certainly flushed. Uh, again, you have the unfilled gap below that needs to potentially close. So all eyes on that potential gap fill below. Okay, 60-minute chart, we had a fake out. So again, that's why we had this, um, uh, so how can you describe it, a... Um, overreaction to the downside probably the best way of describing it okay so you do you have whole health support at 112 bear in mind that the uh, russell certainly has been the powerhouse as of late and it was the sole reason why the s p 500 was certainly moving higher okay it was certainly the russell small caps holding it so 
for now uh, all eyes on the Russell uh, again you do have a potential cap fill candidate up here so don't be surprised if 113 can potentially be hit so it's the 113 level that I'll be watching before I attempt to uh, short the S&P 500 unless some obviously overtly bearish news were to come out okay now let's bring up the uh, chart of the uh, S&P 500 now let's look at the actual index itself Uh, with me whilst we're here let's just quickly review the uh, Russell 3000 as well so the daily chart of the Russell 3000 certainly breaking out okay on the downside or should we be breaking down should we see on the downside but having said that we are into potential gap fill support so therefore you are looking at a potential pop or a bounce but however long that's lived it certainly is expected okay so bear that in mind the Russell 3000 is indicating support let's just bring up the S&P 500 now Okay, let's go to the larger time frame first of all. The weekly chart, again, confirmed resistance. Daily chart, at the moment, again, you've flushed. Uh, bear in mind that your support is at 2045, so that's a solid sort of support zone. We are at 2080, so therefore, look, remains vulnerable to further downside. 60 minute chart, at the moment, you currently have gap fill at 2075, and therefore, you would be expected, uh, or would you would expect lower prices. So, again, remain open to that as well. So, you have closed the gap at 2060 odds, so again, that certainly is bullish from that perspective. But any thrust higher will be sold into, that's my interpretation. So 2080, given the fact that we're currently 2070 at the moment, uh, so bear in mind that you do have a gap fill at 2075. So 2075 will pr probably be the zone that I'd be looking to potentially short the US markets going into the, uh, uh, looking and then looking at further downside. Okay, so HNS for target here is uh, pivot high is 2110, uh, 2075. So you're looking at a 30, 25, 35 point move down. A 35 point move down brings you down to 2040. Okay, so 2040 would you would be your target on this HNS formation. So that's the level that I'll be looking for a potential flush on this market and a risk off mode. Okay, that's basically what I'm interpreting and what I'm expecting as well to uh, potentially occur so that's something all eyes on uh, on the uh, potential flush of the uh, s p 500 based on this hns formation so again remain uh, open to uh, further downside for this uh, market at present but again it could keep watching the usdjpy if we do get a, a move on the usdjpy uh, above the 107 then that will trigger some shorts will come into play and that will obviously cause risk aversion further risk aversion as well so again certainly keep uh, certainly remain open to that okay uh, in terms of the nasdaq now let's bring up the nasdaq for you give you a review here if i go start off with the daily chart on the german on the nasdaq sorry uh, you can see that we've certainly closed a gap at 4308 that certainly seems to be a key uh, important zone okay uh, in terms of this market so watch out for that and that certainly seems to have put in a potential pivot low on the Nasdaq. So any retest back of that zone will be a possible buying opportunity. Although having said that, there is a further gap that needs to close below. So again, that certainly is a possibility as well. 60 minute chart of the Nasdaq itself. You could clearly see that we do have this unfilled gap left behind. Unfilled gap is at uh, 4286. And then obviously you have an unfilled gap at 4200. So those are two zones that you'll be looking for. Having said that, you do have this HNS formation, as you're probably already all aware of already, uh, folks. So you have the HNS formation here, left shoulder. Then obviously we create this head, we create this right shoulder, bearish continuation pattern, retest the neckline, and the Nasdaq really had a royal flush. Okay, so again looking for weakness there. Okay, so that's an interesting scenario for you, folks. Okay, to certainly contemplate over. We take over the uh, take the pivot high, connect it together, and uh, any retest back into that 4380 zone for the Nasdaq will be a shorting opportunity as well. Okay, so watch out for that. In terms of uh, diagonal trend lines, you can take the pivot high here, connect it across. You may well get the, uh, the zones uh, in terms of this channel, so certainly keep an eye out for that. But for now. My uh, interpretation or my perspective really or my focus will be in that 4380 zone for a potential push shorting possibility. That's what I'll be uh, looking looking for. Okay, uh, in terms of cross verifying the NASDAQ, let's look at the biotechs. Uh, the biotechs on the daily chart certainly look um, looking weak, but we are now potentially coming into support. 
because this zone does indicate previous support equal well previous resistance equals support so you need to be careful in terms of uh, really becoming bearish on the nasdaq so again like i said the zone at uh, 4300 will act as potential support 60 minute chart at the moment your only zone is this uh, this will be a key zone of support so watch out for that uh, you do obviously have a hns formation that's in place so watch out for the potential target there cross verify that with the semiconductors as well let's go to the daily chart of the semicons you are into 200 ma so again looking for a bounce so i would be very careful with shorting the nasdaq below that 4300 level or 4310 uh, level and looking for potential upside from my perspective okay that's what i'd be looking for based on my uh, trading ability okay and uh, trading knowledge right okay uh, that certainly is uh, a level to uh, watch out for okay in terms of the uh, smaller time frame let's go to a 60 minute chart here okay so 60 minute chart is coming into potential support as it brings up here okay so if we take the pivot low take it uh, whole hold this horizontal zone here you do have gap fill support below as well so this support at the 51 level certainly will be crucial uh, for the uh, semicon. so watch out for that zone. Okay, so I think I've given you a summation here of the US markets, which are very, very important at this juncture, yeah, especially given the fact that the market is relying on one, number one, yen, and number two, oil. Now, oil is in a predicament because it is holding that 200 MA, and it does have diagonal uh, trend line uh, resistance. So the oil price of oil certainly remains vulnerable to potential further downside which again jeopardizes the uh, the trade on the equity so again the yen and the uh, price of oil certainly giving conflicting signals which is causing great concern especially economic data as well and obviously the lack of central bank stimulus from the boj certainly has caused off this risk aversion mode so a lot of questions to be asked today especially given the fact that we do have further U US data on tap and obviously we have two Fed members as well. So watch out below. That's all I can say at this current juncture. The buyer still certainly remains bearish with the Nikkei obviously down 500 points overnight from the outset. But any for any weakness is going to be a potential buying opportunity for a move on the long side. That's my interpretation. Okay, I think that's a summation. Be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. As always, folks, you can certainly take advantage of the... Uh, the up to 25% healthy bonus that's on offer as always to all new trading uh, individuals, okay? And uh, be sure to visit cfts.com. Goodbye now.